What up? And welcome to another episode of What Do We Have Here? The unboxing segment of the channel. And today we have a set that me personally, I couldn't wait to get my hands on. Every 90s kid remembers that theme song, Go Go Power Rangers! Man, who wasn't a fan of the show back in the days? 2023 being the 30th year anniversary, first and foremost. Rest in peace to Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger. As you guys can see there, earlier this year, they did release Rita Repulsa with her staff being a, an exclusive to the summer convention of this year. So with the 30th year anniversary, that makes sense. And in this set, they got the weapons, which I remember at the time being a pretty cool upgrade. Helped them take on Rita Repulsa and her evil minions. So like I said, I was amped to get this set. So let's get right into it. So I'll start off with Rita Repulsa, who was basically the main antagonist of the show. Some of the other antagonists do have Funko Pops, which I do have to get my hands on. But I was excited to get the Summer Convention exclusive because she did have her staff. So I like when, so I like Funko Pops with accessories. As far as the design goes, this is what we usually saw her in, brown robe. But Rita was pretty cool for a bad guy and she was funny, so shout out to her. And to get into the actual Power Rangers, I'll start off with the two head honchos, the red and green ranger, who I consider to be the two leaders of the group, the two strongest. They were all pretty skilled in martial arts, but I would say that these two were portrayed to be the leaders. It kind of fell upon them to make the decisions from what I remember. <laughs> but I thought the two modes were cool also because the two daggers are pointing at each other. Kind of just showing just how much the Red and Green Ranger did go hand in hand. There's also a mold of the White Ranger. I don't know if we'll be getting a new one, but I'm pretty sure some of you guys out there might have that. So definitely let me know if y'all do. Something that's pretty cool about these boxes is that they did put the helmets on the tab. Here you see the Green and Red Ranger. So I'm pretty sure all the boxes are gonna have that. And next, we had the other two men of the group. The Black and Blue Ranger. The Black Ranger was a fan of dance, so that was something that made him stand out a little bit. He incorporated dancing in his fighting style, so it was pretty cool. And the Blue Ranger, as the show went along, he got better at martial arts. But one thing that did stand out for him was that he was pretty smart. So that's how he was able to help the Rangers out. His area of expertise was definitely technology. So shout out to them. Black Ranger has an ax and the Blue Ranger has a staff. Three points on each end, so pretty cool weapon. Again, they also have the two helmets on the back of the tab. And to correct myself, the Red Ranger has a sword, not a dagger. And the Green Ranger having the dagger. I correct myself because last but not least, we have the two ladies of the group, the pink and yellow ranger, the pink ranger having a bow and arrow, and the yellow ranger has two daggers. Shout out to them. The two ladies were also a force to be reckoned with. Even though some of the enemies expected them to be pushovers, they were taught the lesson very quickly that they were also just as strong and talented as the boys. So shout out to the ladies, the two rangers of the show. The pink ranger, Kimberly being a gymnast, she incorporated those type of maneuvers into her fighting style. And the yellow ranger already worked at a gym and was training in martial arts. So like I said, she off the bat, even though not an aggressor, was always ready to handle business. So shout out to the squad, man. They also have the helmets on the back. And as always, I'll have pictures at the end. And like I said, there's other Funko Pops from the Power Ranger universe. I'll be hopefully getting my hands on soon, slowly but surely. And we out. Peace.